Shenzhou Eight spacecraft. This video is also. This is、uh, taken from another video camera on Tiangong One. Of course. And this is video is. And also through this video camera, we can see the whole process of the rendezvous and docking when they approach each other and yeah, dock with、yeah. each other. Now they have, now they have passed the parking point、uh, of the distance, relative distance of the 400 meters. So the parking points 400 meters have already been passed. They are getting closer and closer. Tiangong One.、Mm. And this, Shenzhou Eight. This is the third parking point, and the next will be one hundred and forty meters. One hundred forty meters will be the next parking spot where the two vehicles are approaching one another. Well, well, the red line running through them seems to be the axis that they are. The spacecraft on the right hand is Tiangong One. On the right hand side is Tiangong One. On the left hand side is、uh, Shenzhou Eight. Yeah, the Shenzhou Eight is chasing the Tiangong One spacecraft now. So one is the chasing vehicle, the other one is the target vehicle. There is a communication yeah, line between the two vehicles.、Uh, in the parking point, everything should be checked to 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 check if it is everything is normal.、Mm. And we also know that this time around,、uh, to practice telemetry and control,、uh, China's space scientists are now relying on the Tianlian satellite number one and number two,、uh, collect data and send、uh, command signals. Mr. Dai, would you please explain to us how that、uh, work out? Yeah, in the first the Chinese、uh, rendezvous and the docking mission, Tianlian data lay, data relay satellites. Provide、uh, object determination, telemetry, telecommand,、uh, video, audio, and、uh, email services for both Shenzhou Eight Tian Tiangong One vehicles.、Mm. You see this、uh, image came from the Tianlian、mm. uh, data relay satellites.、Mm. Yeah. On the left hand side is the video taken from the hatch window of. Shenzhou Eight spacecraft. Now both vehicles are orbiting、uh, near the south tip of the African、uh, African continent. This is the、uh, video taken from the camera on Shenzhou Eight.、Uh, this is the hatch where the docking port where it will join. Now you can see very clearly、uh, the three、Can、guides of the three guide plates of the active docking ports.、Mm -hmm. The bright spot is the Tiangong One、uh, vehicle.、Yeah. The bright spot is supposed to be the target vehicle, Tiangong One. Yeah. So that shows that the two vehicles are getting closer to one another. Yeah. So there are three pictures on the screen right now. On the left-hand side is the video taken from Shenzhou Eight. Yeah. And that bright spot is supposed to be Tiangong One, which is the target where Shenzhou Eight is approaching. The distance is about one hundred kilo, one hundred meters now. Now this video is taken from the ground station of Namibia, and you can see very clearly the spring on the left side of the video is、mm. that of the. And, and on the right hand side is the picture taken by Tiangong One's camera. Yeah. And yeah. on the bottom of it is the animation of the two vehicles、uh, in the control room. And the video from Tiangong One is transmitted by Tian. Yeah. Because these two vehicles are in the dark of the in the、uh, amber、uh, amber area. Yeah, so、uh, we use the light to、uh, guide the、uh, two vehicles 
uh, docking. Mm. Since when uh, that the radar uh, started working to coordinate and, and collect information of one another? Since when? Uh, since the distance between two vehicles are from about uh, 52 kilometers to about 100 meters. Ah, it is near the uh, 140 meter mm. parking point. Mm -hmm. This is, will be the third parking point. And mm. then the next will be the 30 meters. How long will it take? It, would, uh, uh, it says it will take roughly 11 minutes, yeah, 11 minutes to get from the 400 meter parking point to 140 meter parking point. Very, very slow. Why it has to move in such a speed? It's a very delicate and, and slow process. Yes. Uh, first, uh, it should not be too slow because if it is too slow, the docking mechanism without, will not work. But it should not be too high. It is too high. The energy absorbing or the energy attenuating pr procedure cannot be performed normally, so the docking mechanism will be damaged. Mm. So when the two vehicles approach one another, what is the relative velocity uh, of them? Uh, nominally, uh, during the final stage of the rendezvous, should be 20 centimeters per second. There is a range between 5 centimeters to 35 centimeters. Mm -hmm. But uh, it should be, it may be uh, bigger than this figure uh, during this range. Mm. And John, how can we assure that the two vehicles in space align themselves perfectly? Well, that's the goal of some very specific, sophisticated equipment that is built into these craft so that they can measure their, their distance apart because and their closing. Both course. of the vehicles are without pilots. They are right. actually uh, running on their own, uh, of course, guided by the ground control. Guided, guided by computers that can think much more quickly than a person can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. And, but w what exactly are the mechanisms that they can uh, be aligned? They can feel each other. Well, they're using radar, and they're also using LIDAR, which is optical radar. Um, with LIDAR, you can actually measure distances to extreme precision, mm -hmm. more precision than is needed for this mm -hmm. mission. Using la uh, laser as, th as yes, uh, laser much radar. the same way no. that lasers are used for surveying on Earth. This is the laser radar. This is the microwave radar. So they use both microwave radar and laser radar. radar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there are also cooperative devices on the target vehicle. Uh, what kind of a devices are you referring to? Uh, for the microwave radar, there is a transponder on the target vehicle. Mm -hmm. And for the laser radar, there are corner reflectors on the target vehicle. Mm. If, if there is a pilot on board, uh, what kind of a, a data or picture can he or she rely on if it is uh, in a manual mode? Well, if the... If if we were to imagine Shenzhou 8 having a pilot who's in charge of the rendezvous, he will be monitoring the radar and LIDAR data. But he will but there, also... But there is no optical uh, camera information. Um, in the case of the Shenzhou spacecraft, I don't know how that works. Is, is, is there an optical camera yeah, 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 mounted yeah. on? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can see that there are many um, lamps on the target vehicle. So the CCD camera or the uh, video camera can see these lamps uh, mm. during the amber area. So, so this is also a reference for the pilots, if there is a pilot. Yeah, mm. of course. The, uh, we have about... But, but of course this time is an automated uh, a mode rather than a manual one. Uh, you can see uh, just from the uh, front that the two vehicles have just entered the uh, amber area or the shadow. Mm. So uh, they can see, uh, you cannot see the, uh, the target vehicle from the camera of Shenzhou 8 mm -hmm. because there is no sunlight now.
just now you mentioned that uh, is now in the range of Namibia tracking station. I guess it has so passed that. Where yeah. exactly will the rendezvous and docking take place? Uh, where it is above the earth? Well, Do we have any idea? Uh, because the docking procedure will take about 10 minutes, so it cannot... Well, they, I mean the exact docking. Uh, where, where, where is the place? Uh, uh, from the internet, it said it will be just above the Gansu province. So above China? Above China. Uh, but this cannot be sure because uh, there may be some um, uh, difference uh, between the plan and the actual situation. So now, already uh, the two vehicles have been uh, making communications. Now the two vehicles are above the Indian Ocean, mm. near the east coast of the so continent. they are about to fly over uh, China's land mass very soon. Yeah, maybe half an hour. You see that in eastern so in part the, of in the... This, in this picture we can see the moving red and uh, green dots are signifies Tiangong 1 and Shenzhou Eight, they almost overlap each other because they're very near one another. Yeah, their distance mm. in the, is only 140 meters. So from the road map, is on almost the same spot. Now they are in the range in, in the uh, telemetry range of the ground station near the east coast of Africa. From the animation. Mm -hmm. So the, actually the docking maneuvers uh, started when the two vehicles are 20 kilometers apart and now the two vehicles is almost 100 meters apart from one another. Yeah. So the relative positions of the two spacecrafts have remained according to the plan? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, it's course. quite normal. Yeah. And the next parking point will be 30 meters. If the two vehicles are flying uh, automatically, what is the work of the ground control? Are they still in control of the, of the two vehicles? Of course, uh, you can see from introductions there is a date link. Uh, uh, actually, it is an S-band date link between the two vehicles. Uh, the, ground, uh, the command of the ground will transmit it to the Shenzhou 8 uh, space vehicle first. Then, uh, between the vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle date link, it will be transferred to the uh, Tiangong-1 target vehicle. And also, the parameters of the Tiangong-1 will be uh, transmitted inversely to the Shenzhou 8.